Today we're going to look at some of the items that we're selling right now and making a very good profit on. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at some of the items we've been selling lately. Just a random pick. Lots of interesting, unique, and historical items to show you today. So the first item here is a sheet music. Now, I sold almost $200 just this week alone in sheet music. Sheet music's been moving. It's been very hot since the pandemic started. A lot of people sitting at home, and these just have been going fairly regularly. This one went for $35. This person also bought a second one by the same author of this one as well. So I sold two to the same guy. I was very happy with the sale. Now here's another sheet music. This one went for just over $20. This is Haven Gillespie. This is a fairly nice one early from 1931. Now this sheet music here is Little Orphan Annie. I've had this one two or three times. Even in not so great condition, these always seem to sell. This one did go for $26.25, plus they paid shipping just like they do for all of our items. Very happy with this one. If you ever see it, grab it up. A lot of people pass this one up because it's made out of newspaper type of paper. This one was like a promotional giveaway from this Sunday strip in a Sunday paper in specific cities. A lot of the ones I see are from New York or Chicago. This next one is a Thorin's music box from Switzerland. Now this is one of those examples where a simple error can prevent something from selling for a very long time. Thorin's is spelled wrong. There's an extra N after the R. We all missed it here. It still sold for $25, which is about what I expected for it anyway. But I pretty much wiped out all my music boxes within, say, uh, maybe a five or six week time frame. This one sat around for much longer. Again, the name pretty much killed the sale. Keywords are really important, and this is a perfect example. Again, it did sell, and I'm happy with the sale either way. It just took a little longer. So if you want your money out of it quicker, make sure you have a good title and that it's the correct word you are using. Now this next one's from 2001, and this is Vampire Hunter D. This is a anime series, very popular, very sought after. Anime series didn't make a lot of 8x10s, so if you see 8x10s and you only have so much money with you, buy the ones from anime. Those always seem to sell for us. We took 30 bucks on this one here. They also bought this one here for 30 bucks as well. Very happy. Shipped them together. They paid for shipping. Very interesting, unique items. I love this sort of thing. This next one's an interesting piece here. This is from the SS Ventura out in Samoa. This is a card basically for folks crossing the equator line, and it talks about Neptune and the whole works. This is something typically mostly reserved to military back in the old days, but they carry this across to many of the steamship lines of the day as well. So this is a very interesting card. It's made to be torn off on the bottom, and you can mail the top as a postcard. This is from the short line from Sydney as well. 40 bucks on this one. I paid a dollar. Very interesting set of anthropomorphic cats from 1881. This is a trade card set. There's six individual different cards in here, and I took 40 bucks on them. Rather interesting, unique designs on them. There are many versions of this set for many different businesses as well. It's like a generic pattern. You would see these six cards used over and over again for all types of things. Next one here you saw in a haul. I picked up a whole box for I believe 20 bucks of 40 or 50 of these engine manuals from diesel locomotive engines. This one went for 25 bucks plus shipping just like all the other apps. Very happy with that. I only have a few pennies in this when I purchased it due to the quantity of items that I bought. You don't see me showing very often are coffee mugs. I do sell coffee mugs, glasses, tumblers, and things like that. I love that sort of thing to some extent, depending on where it's from. One of two, sold them both. Sold them straight out $14.50 on these. These sorts of things pretty much always go. Around here, I buy the local universities, and they're out the door very quickly also. This one here is a paper roller skating label. This one went for $16.99. This same person bought another one from Allentown, PA as well for $16.99. Easy, just shipped them together and combined shipping. 
This next item here is from around 1880, and this is a advertising poster stamp or label. They would have stuck these all over the place. Advertising Pepsol. Now, this one's very popular. I've sold quite a few of these. The Pepsol lettering itself is very similar to Pepsi Cola, as is the bottle design, and that's why this one sells all the time. And this one went for 30 bucks. This next lot here is a lot of vintage Marks plastic playset figures from the 50s. Different sets, a nice little mix here, nice collection. This one went for 20 bucks shipped. Very happy with that. I can usually get these for around four for a dollar to a dollar a piece at the very, very most. Now here's a poster stamp for Adams Express. They actually delivered all sorts of things, including mail and packages back in the day. In the big vast collection of uniform buttons I have, I actually have some from Adams Express that I'll be showing out in some of my videos as well. Very well known piece here. This one went for $25 plus shipping. Here's an Art Deco label from the Columbus Hotel in Miami, Florida. This would have been stuck on luggage or a steamer trunk back in the day. This one went for 20 bucks plus shipping. Now this next one's an advertising pencil. Now I showed this in a haul. We've sold a ton of these pens and pencils through the time since I've purchased them. Here's another one, 30 bucks shipped with this one. It's from Euclid, Ohio, a local company. It's a farming business out there. And you can see a very interesting image on it as well. These sorts sell very well as long as they have graphics and some local history on them. Now here's a multi-category item, something I love the best. Multi-category items are always, always what you really want. Now this one can be listed in the Christmas section. This one could be listed in the writing section because it's also a blotter as well as in the paper section under advertising. Rather unique piece here, Santa Claus. I have a few of these. They sell on average for $17.50. If you look at the back and you ever wonder why someone scribbled all over the back, this is a blotter. The old fountain pens, you would have to soak up the extra ink in some cases, and that's what these were used for. We even sell a lot of postcards as well now. This is a Ross Verlag. This is a vintage German one. I took 20 bucks on this one. You saw the purchase as well on this lot of these here. We've been selling them ever since. A constant, continuous flow. Passive income. I don't have to do a thing once these items are up. Here's another postcard. This one went for 50 bucks. This one is a real photo, real picture postcard of the mascot of the USS Rhode Island. A real black bear. Something they did when they were traveling if they found a wild animal. Many times you would see this sort of thing as a mascot. Monkeys, chimpanzees, goats, all those sorts of animals were used for mascots. The British Navy was very fond of British bulldogs. The last two items are music related and here is an eight track tape. You can see what it went for. Very happy. This is a quarter purchase in a big bulk lot. There are many eight track tapes that can still sell for some good money. Mostly R&B, jazz, soul in that sort. Some of the early rocks and Beatles will sell and get you some good money as well. And the last one I've got for you here is by Arthur Fields. This is a 78 with De Fierro's face. Walt Disney actually produced a wartime cartoon with Donald Duck with De Fierro's fear's face in it. Interesting. This one always sells. This one is very popular. Arthur Fields is a performer that dates back to World War I. Rather interesting. These sell for us all the time. 30 bucks out of this one here. We do very well with World War II or even World War I 78s, as long as they're tied something military to them. Very interesting one here. We were happy with the 30 bucks it went for. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit that bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Sometimes you don't I'm in Joy's got nuts Mounds don't I'm in Joy's got real milk chocolate Coconut and munchy nuts too Mounds
Sometimes got deep, dark chocolate and chewy coconut. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Peter Paul Almond Joy's got nuts. Peter Paul Mounds don't. Plus, now there's also a new Mounds with creamy rich milk chocolate.